Okay, guys, let's start. Okay, the first one, I will solve it by myself. And then the second one, I will ask you to help me with this, okay? Okay, let's start with the first one. Okay, first of all, let's estimate, then record the product. Firstly, estimate. You can estimate as we said before yesterday. So it will be two multiplied by, we have eight here, eight is strong number. So gives one to seven. So seven becomes eight and eight becomes zero. And then let's multiply it, put the zero first, and two multiply by eight equals T. So the answer is 160. Okay, after that, let's multiply it. We have 70, 78 multiplied by two. The easiest way to multiply it by regrouping. That's the easiest way. Okay, so let's start with eight. Eight multiplied by two equals 16, right? So we can't put the whole 16. So put six and carry up one. And then let's multiply seven by two. Seven by two equals 14. And we have here one, let's add it to 14, it will be 15. So our answer here is 156. That's our exact answer. And that's our estimate. Okay, let's see the second one. Who can help me with this? Okay, Abbas. Hello. Hi, Abbas. How are you, man? Fine. Can you turn on your camera, please? Okay. I open it. Okay, how can we estimate this? We do 700 because the one, she didn't can give the 7. Excellent. So, 1 is a weak number, so doesn't do anything. So, it will be 5 multiplied by 700. So, it will be? Will be 3,500. Excellent. So that's our estimate. Okay, thank you very much, my dear. Welcome. Okay, the next one, Ali Hello. Dwayne. Are you there? Hello, Mr. Yes. Okay, Ali, raise your voice, please. Okay. Okay, Ali, tell me, how can we multiply it? 715 multiplied by 5. Okay. It's uh, 5 multiplied by 5. It's uh, 25. Can we, we put, put the uh, whole 25? No, no. We will put uh, five, then we will bring the two and two will put it. Yes, like that. Yeah, then it's, uh, then... Uh, Multiply by five again. Let's distribute the five like you see here. Let's distribute the five here. So let's distribute the yeah. five multiplied by each digit up here. So five multiplied by one equals... Five. Five. And we have two up at them. It will be five multiplied yeah, by okay. one equals seven. five plus two equals seven. Okay, the next one. Five multiplied by seven. Five multiplied by seven? Yes. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. So that's our real number, our near, our real answer. Okay. Thank you very much, my dear. Great job. Okay, the next one. Ferris. Yes, mister. Okay, number three, Ferris. Okay. Five hundred thirty-one multiplied seven. The three don't, will not give... The five because it's weak number, so yes. it will be five hundred. So it will be five hundred. Excellent. Multiply by seven. Seven equal three thousand five hundred. Three thousand. Five hundred. Five hundred. Excellent. Thank you very much, my dear. Great job, Amor. Hello, Mister. Hi, Amor. How are you? Can you help me with the next one? Let's multiply it. Five hundred thirty-one multiplied by seven. 531 multiplied by 1 equals 7. Yes, so let's start with 1 here. It will be 7. 7 multiplied by 3, 21. Yes, we can we put 21, the whole 21? And 2 up. Yes, excellent. 7 multiplied by 5, 35. It will be 36. Okay, excellent. So our answer is 3,700. 17. Excellent. Thank you very much, my dear. Great job. Obaid. Yes, teacher. Okay, Obaid, tell me the next one. Okay. Uh, 400, multi 400 multiply 4. We uh, have 5 here. 5 is strong number, so give 1, 2, 3, it becomes 4. And four. both the zeros multiply by 4. Okay. Uh, equal 100, 600. 
1,600. So that's our estimate. Thank you very much. Great job, my dear. Welcome. Okay. The next one. Reda Nader. Happy teacher. Hi, Reda. How are you? I'm fine. Can you help me with the next one? Number four. Let's multiply it using regrouping. 357 multiplied by 4. Okay. 4 multiplied by 7. 7, 14, 21, 28. That we put 8 and we put 2 of the 5. Then 4 multiplied by 5 equals 20. And we put, when we take both to 2, it's 22. But 2 and put 2 of the 3. Yes. Great. And 4 multiplied, 4 multiplied by 3, 4, uh, 4, 8, 12. That we put 2 and we put 12. Then plus that we put 4 and we put 1. So it will be 14. Excellent. So our answer is 1,428. Great job, Reda. You are Superman. Thank you very much. Okay, let's see here. Abdullah, find the product. 25 multiplied by 7 multiplied by 4. Okay, as we started before, Abdullah, we have friendly numbers. Okay, let's write friendly numbers here. It will be 2 multiplied by 5 equals 10. 4 multiplied by 25 equals 100. 8 multiplied by 125 equals 1000. It's very important to keep it in your mind to get the answer. Okay, guys, let's see here. We have here 25 and 4 right yeah so if you see friendly numbers you have to put it next to each other right yeah. okay so let's rewrite it here it will be 25 put it as the same and four let's change the places as you see here so four it will be here and seven it will be here okay yes okay after that abdullah what we're going to do abdullah are you still with me yeah Multiply 25 and 4 because they are friendly numbers. If you see friendly numbers, you have to multiply it first. So 25 multiplied by 4 equals what? Equals 100, man. Yeah. Multiplied by 7 equals 700. So our answer is 700. Yeah. Thank you very much, Abdullah. Kareem. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you, my dear? I'm good. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay, let's see. We have here 50 multiplied by 9 multiplied by 2. Okay, let's search for friendly numbers here. Can you tell me where are the friendly numbers? Okay. Um, 50 and 2. Multiply, uh, 2. Okay, tell me 50 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 9. So... 50 multiplied by 2. It's very easy to multiply it now, right? 50 multiplied by yeah, 2 uh, equals 100. 100. Multiply by 9 equals 900. 900. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, my dear. Welcome. Okay, Ferris. Okay, yes, mister. Okay, the one next one, Ferris. 4 multiply 6 multiply 250. Okay, where are the friendly numbers, my dear? 4 multiply 250. Excellent. Multiply by 6. Okay, now let's multiply 4 by 250. 4 by 250. Firstly, put the 0. And 4 multiplied by 25, as I said before, it will be... 100. 100. So our answer is 1,000 multiplied by 6 equals... 6,000. 6,000. Excellent. Thank you very much, Faris. Great job, my dear. Okay, the next one, Turkey. Turkey, are you there? Yes, yes, but, but I only write. Okay, tell me, Turkey, the next one, how can we multiply it? We have 8 multiplied by... 8 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 125. Okay, 8 my multiply 150. 125, my dear. 125. So, 8 multiplied by 125 equals what? Equals 12,000. So, it will be 12,000. Excellent. So, it will be 1,000 here. And multiply by 12 equals 
12,000. So our answer here is 12,000. Great job, my dear. Excellent. Okay, guys, let's move to the next one. Okay. Let's read it first. A car dealer has eight rows of cars with 16 cars in each row. In each of the first three rows, six are used cars. The rest of the cars are new cars. How many cars does the dealer have? Okay, first of all, let's see here. We have eight rows with 16 cores in each row. Okay, let's write the total number number of cores. What is the total number of cores here? Let's multiply 16 by 8. Okay, let's multiply it here. 16 by 8. Okay, so 6 by 8 equals 48. So it will be 8 and carry up 4. And 1 by 8 equals 8. And we have 4 up. Add to 8, it will be 12. So we have 128 cores. Okay. And after that, we have 3 rows with 6 cores are used. Okay. The first 3 rows, 6 are used cores. So let's multiply 3 by 6 to get the number of used cores. The number of used cores equal 3 multiplied by multiplied by 6. 3 multiplied by 6, as we all know, equals 18, right? And after that, because he's asking about the number of new cores, how many new cores? So let's subtract 128 minus 18, the, num the total number of cores minus the used cores. So let's subtract 8 minus 8 it will be 0, 2 minus 1 equals 1, and 1 put it as the same. So we have 110 new cores. Okay, let's move to the next one. Let's read it first. Has four rows of apple trees with 12 trees in each row. There are also six rows of the pe of pear trees with 15 trees in each row. How many apple and pear trees? So, first of all, you have to multiply the number of trees in each row. We have 4 multiplied by 12. Let's write the number of apple trees equals 12 multiplied by 4. Okay, let's multiply. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8 and 1 multiplied by 4 equals 4. So we have 48 apple trees. And let's see the number of pear trees equals we have here like you see we have six rows 15 trees in each row let's multiply we have here 15 multiplied by 6 so 5 multiplied by 6 equal 30 but we can't put the whole 30 so put 0 and carry up 3 1 multiplied by 6 equals 6 and 3 it will be 9 after that he asking me to get the total number of apple and pear trees so you have to add them together okay let's add 48 plus 90 so 8 plus 0 equals 8 and 4 plus 9 equals 13 so our answer is 138 okay let's move to the next one first of all let's multiply the number of rooms by the number of floors so let's get the total number the total number of rooms equals 128 multiplied by 4. 8 multiplied by 4 equals 32. 2 and carry 3. 2 multiplied by 4 equals 8 and 3 equals 11. 1 and carry 1. 1 multiplied by 4 equals 4 and 1 equals 5. So we have 512 rooms in this hotel and then let's get the number and we have here the number of cleaned rooms so let's subtract to get the number of rooms still need to be cleaned okay let's subtract it here 500 512 minus 334 okay let's start with one place 
2 minus 4 can't be because 2 is smaller than 4. Okay, let's borrow 1 from 1. It will be 0 and 2 become 12. 12 minus 4 equals what? 12 minus 4 equals 8. 0 minus 3 can't be. So borrow 1 from 5. It will be 4 and 0 becomes 10. 10 minus 3 equals 7 and 4 minus 3 equals 1. So that's our total number of room need to be cleaned.